Hello, this is the first video that I tried to make like this with me actually talking, so I'm really nervous, so bear with me. And my, because the main reason why I'm nervous is because I find my voice doesn't translate well on video recording. Like, what you hear is not what my voice sounds like in real life, and so that's why I'm the most nervous, but oh well. So anyways, that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is me and my boyfriend decided to book a seven-day portage trip through Algonquin Park, starting at Canoe Lake and ending in Canoe Lake, doing a counterclockwise loop. Um, and I just wanted to make a video of the stuff that we are planning to bring with us, the stuff we are packing, and just to give other people an idea of if they're interested in doing something like this, give them a better idea of what to bring and what's not necessary and what's necessary and... Yeah, because we did a portage about five years ago. It was a five-day portage in northern Algonquin. Um, we're doing a seven-day portage in southern Algonquin this time. Um, pros and cons of that is northern Algonquin, there was like next to nobody on our route. Like it was all just us. And it was absolutely magical having everything to ourselves. But that means you're in a place with no cell service and you have nobody else around you if you get in trouble. And while well, meeting other people can be fun for some, it's all depending on what you're into anyways. So where was I going with this? So I lost my train of thought when I started talking about up north and everything in our previous portage trip. Um, the reason why I started that story is because when we made that trip five years ago, uh, we are outdoors people. We always grew up fishing, canoeing, like both of us. And um, so we're experienced that way. So we thought we knew what we were doing, but we could have watched more portage videos. We could have maybe become more knowledgeable because we forgot things. We didn't bring things. We brought other things that weren't necessarily um, needed and it added more weight and uh, it made the trip less desirable so I figured by maybe making this video other people will be more aware and since we have this experience I just like to share it so yeah so basically yeah the video is just to show you guys what we have and what we're packing in case anybody else wants to know what to bring and yeah so let's get on with it Okay, so I have everything laid out on my kitchen floor, so don't mind the mess. I just have it spread out so I can see what I have, what I need, what we need to pick up last minute, and so on and so forth. Not everything is pictured here because I either am charging it or we don't have it yet, or we're just waiting closer to the date to acquire it. So I don't even know where to begin, but I guess I'll begin over here with the shoes. So those shoes are the ones I bought five years ago for the first Portage trip. They're actually really awesome. They're water shoes and they're hiking shoes in one. And therefore, I was able to get in and out of the canoe without having to change my footwear or worry about taking them off. These ones are the ones that I just recently bought. They're brand new. I just ripped the tags off of them. They're from sale. Uh, I've never had a pair of shoes like call to me, but these ones did for some reason. I'm not a shoe girl, but when I put these on, I just had to have them. So they're really comfy. They're also portage hiking water shoes. So I'm hoping they last uh, well and that they stay comfy the whole seven days, but we'll see. These are my boyfriend's shoes that he bought from sale. Same thing, hiking water shoes. It's just more convenient instead of changing in and out of socks and everything else. All right, so that is our three-person tent. We're only two people, but we like to have a little bit of room. We don't want to be crammed. So we've had it for years. We used it the last time, and it's great. When we go regular camping, we bring our six-man tent, but obviously you wouldn't do that for a portage because every pound literally counts. So over here, we have rainproof uh, stuff for our bags. It's just like a cover that goes over your pack sack. And we got two of them. Same. Most of this gear is uh, stuff that we had from last time, so it's really convenient. Not expensive at all once you have this stuff. Lasts for years. Um, this is a liner to the sleeping bag, like 
well not a liner to it but it's an extra one in case it gets cold because even though it's august it gets super freaking cold at night and in the morning so it's always good to be prepared rather than freeze there's my sleeping bag i have no idea where the ec like where the outside shell is for that uh i don't exactly know what i'm gonna buy to replace that I have no idea what happened to it, but obviously I can't go portaging with my sleeping bag just open like this because that's just going to be a disaster. Um, this bag my mom bought me. I can't even remember when or if it was for Christmas or what, but this bag, I love it. I absolutely love it. It's a nice color. It's got many different compartments. It's got... Uh, like everything it's got pocket there pocket underneath it's really big inside and it's got a compartment under here and it also comes with its own rain cover that's in its own compartment under here that slips over this so i use that for something else in my case that's my boyfriend's he bought this on sale on clearance in canadian tire because we were kind of strapped on cash then but uh, we're going to use it again because it works well. It's in great condition. And why not? I mean, we don't need to buy things just because we need new things, right? You might as well use things until they're absolutely destroyed. So there's that. Sorry if I'm going fast. I don't know. I'm just winging it. <clears throat> Two dry sacks. That's what we're going to put our clean clothes into when we pack them up to begin with. I have a, uh, like a dry sack here, but it's a special one. It compresses. It has a thing so I can scrunch it up really small. I am going to put the dirty clothes in that, and hopefully there's enough room for it all. If not, then we'll just reuse one of these dry bags and combine our clean clothes together. So you have to have fun when you're out portaging. So, of course, we have swimming goggles. And we like to play crib in the spare time and we're bringing a deck of cards because you can play multiple games with that and this here is a waterproof thing that my mom bought me for Christmas that I used in Panama in January uh, it actually works and if you put this one's huge it's for like an iPad but I'm gonna put multiple things in there and I can use it under the water with my phone or with anything but I think we're bringing a GoPro but I'm not sure um, but we'll figure that out when it comes and because we'll be swimming, oh, these are binoculars because, you know, out in the back country, you're going to want to see stuff. So we got two microfiber towels, extremely light. Everything here is really light, by the way. Like that's like maybe four pounds, five pounds at most. Um, that's only like two pounds, like the sleeping bag, the big sleeping bag. It looks big, but it's light. Um, so these, really light, obviously mine's the pink one, his is the green one. I just recently bought this. Um, this is one of those things where it's not needed, but this time around we're going to be staying at one particular campsite for two nights, not just one. So this is a two-person hammock. Um, you can set it up, it's really easy to set up, so we'll be using it more than just that one night, but... Uh, it also has a bug net, so it doesn't matter what the, like, if the mosquitoes are bad, if they're not, you can use your hammock open, you can lay with your partner, not, um, you can close the bug net, and then obviously you won't get bit, and all that other jazz, and yada yada. So, that's a rainproof jacket for my boyfriend. For me? No, for my boyfriend. Ice Mule Cooler. That is something I bought because we didn't bring a cooler with us last time. We didn't really bring anything all that fresh this time, even though we're going for longer. I just, I don't care if it's a little bit more weight. I want a little bit more luxury in this trip. So I just want to show you guys it because it's actually really cool. I haven't used it yet. This I'm going to use it whenever I go out there. I'm not sure. It says it holds ice for 24 hours plus. But here's my tactic that I want to do. I want to put ice and ice packs. So that way the ice keeps the ice packs frozen. And then the ice packs will keep the food fresher even longer. So that way we can actually bring stuff with us. So it has a little valve right here. So you can um, 
and put air into the sides and it adds even more insulation. And this is a medium sized bag. The large was just too big. This was perfect. And as you can see, it's insulated inside and I've heard really good things about it. I'll let you guys know how it actually pans out later. Um, you just fold it three times and then clip it and it creates a seal and then it's supposed to be watertight and all that other stuff. All right, so let's put this back. Okay, so other than that, we have some emergency ponchos here because you just never know. So even though we have waterproof jackets and stuff, if something else rips, we can use these ponchos as like kind of like a, a dry sack or something, right? So it's just emergency blanket. We have more than one. I just don't know where it is, but those are good in case something happens and you end up stranded and you know, yeah, it speaks for itself. So here's our pot. I love this pot. It's super light. I mean, it's nothing. Um, it folds up. It's got the handle. It's really light, like I said, and it's great. So there's our water jug, our water thing, water container, water bottle. There you go. And <laughs> we have two cups and we have this neat thing. I love this thing. It's a fork and a butter knife or a knife. It's not focusing. Let's see if I can put it here. See? There you go. And then you got the spoon on the other end. Love it. Multiple use. Thermos, because like I said, it gets cold in the morning and we love hot chocolate. We have hot chocolate, we keep it with us and it stays warm or hot for half the day even. So it's great. Here's our pan. Same thing, it's uh, actually super light, it looks heavy and it looks big, but we like that because it has big cooking surface and it's actually pretty light. On the side of it, you can actually see we got the handles. The handles bend out like this and then look at that. You use it, you cook. Love it. So, where am I looking at now? I guess move along over here. This is an extra water filter cartridge that we bought because the one we used five years ago we didn't store it properly so we need to clean it and it's going to take longer than what we have. So there's a new one and then this MSR and that's MSR as well but this MSR water filter did like really good justice last time. It uh, pumps uh, one Oh my god, I don't even know. <laughs> it's the lower one though. It has the lower flow rate of water, but it did us really well. And it has the spout here that intake the water intake. And it has a floaty in there. So depending on how gross the water is or how you can go deeper or more shallow. So it's good. It's great. I mean, so we got bear spray. As you can tell, this is our one from five years ago. It's a little banged up, but obviously we didn't have to use it because it's still locked and zip tied, which honestly, that's probably not a good thing that we kept it zip tied because if we actually did need it, I mean, are we really going to have the time to cut that off? So we're going to cut that off this time before we bring it. Yeah. Lighter fluid because even if you're the best firemen in the world and you can create fires out of nothing sometimes the elements are just too bad five years ago we uh we got downpoured so bad even with fire starters and the lighter fluid it took us three hours to light a fire to dry our stuff it was absolutely insane but such a great memory i know i'm crazy but yeah it was it was awesome it's awesome now that i'm no longer going through it so we have our MSR once again and this is what we use when we can't start a fire or if our wood is just not desirable if we can't get the proper coals for a grill or any reason whatsoever we like to cook on the fire rather than this but if we have to then that's what we do the attachment is in this bag which we loop around our stuff and easy peasy 
That's the one we had five years ago. We bought this just in case it's not enough, which I'm sure it is, but better safe than sorry once again. Okay, so now I got matches, a big pack of matches, because you just never know. Here is our last bit of fire starter. We're gonna buy some more before we actually take off on our trip because that I don't think is enough. You never know how many days it's gonna rain. You don't know anything. So yeah, we got one, two, three, four different kinds of lighters. That one there in particular is windproof. Um, so obviously because if it's windy, you still want to fire. Uh, repair tape for the tent. Medical kit, very important because, you know, you can get hurt. Um, this is the bag they gave us five years ago. We're just going to reuse it because they gave us two. We only used one. So, yeah. I got a mirror. I don't necessarily know why I'm bringing this because I brought it last time and never used it. But just in case. I'm gonna bring it. This here is fishing things. Like we're definitely going fishing and we plan on trying to catch fish and eat what we catch. So this is something to keep the fish on to keep them fresher, longer, and yeah, I know it's kind of cruel. The hippie in me hates it, but for when you're back there and you wanna eat and everything else, this is what it is. So it works. Sunscreen, bug spray, I'll be buying bug lotion as well before we go. We got uh, my little handy Swiss kitchen stuff. It's got a fork, a knife, and a spoon. I love it, it's cute. We have this here, which is actually awesome. I just don't like how much plastic it is, but we burn the plastic or we bring it back with us and recycle it anyways so but yeah so this container here it's tissue on the go we all know what it's for but it has a slit in it that you go in and then the tissue comes out and it acts as a paper roll but it, then it's also waterproof because of the shielding so it's great so you got tissue for your bum bum and this here is actually to me anyways, one of the most, uh, some of the most important items in this whole um, setup here. We have Trek and Travel, shampoo with conditioner. This is biodegradable. If you're going back there, don't be an asshole. Use biodegradable stuff because it's good for the environment. And yeah, if you want to be in nature, respect nature. Um, this is biodegradable soap. It's a uh, general purpose, as you can see, backpacker travel, hand soap, laundry. We're, we use this for laundry. And this is body wash. I mean, they have some that are literally, you can use it for everything. Your hair, your body, anything. But I like to think that having the ones that are particularly body wash is a little bit better for the skin or something. I don't know anything about that. It's probably all in my head. But, oh well. So... We have, where was I going now? We have lots of rope. Because like I said, you're back there. There's no cell service. There's no help. There's no nothing. Well, where we're going this time, there's more. There's going to be more people. So, I mean, maybe we don't need as much stuff. But still, I just like to feel safe and prepared. So, we have lots of stuff there for pinning our tarps, for hanging our tarps, for doing lots of stuff. Um... We have more straps here, extra straps, an extra carabiner, and flashlights. You can never have too many flashlights. These two here are just small guys, but they're perfect. I was debating bringing this one again because it, uh, my boyfriend wants to bring it, so we're going to bring it, but uh, it's heavy. Like for a flashlight, it's heavy, so it's kind of unnecessary but it's bright if you have to flash somebody down or if you really want to see something if you're out at night like 
five years ago, I keep saying five years ago, last portage, we ended up uh, not making our first campsite on time. We were literally 11 o'clock at night in the pitch black trying to find a place to camp. This helped us out because it can go for forever. So we're going to bring it again, I guess. So there's the hammock, there's the stuff, there's the shoes. We got a hatchet because it's always nice to have a hatchet. This is not heavy. This one's super lightweight. Um, it looks heavier than it is. It's really nice. This here is because, like I said, we plan on catching fish. So it's a fillet knife to clean our fish, clean our fish. Did I say that already? I don't know. I think I'm losing my mind now. I've been videoing too long now in a row. So Whew. maybe I should have did this in like shorter takes, but this is my first video. So, hey, it is what it is. You guys are just going to have to bear with me. I'm not even going to bother clasping that right now. So this here is what I'm going to keep on me at all times because it just makes me feel safer. We have the bear mace, but honestly, that bear mace anybody can get. And I've heard mixed reviews about it. And I heard that if you spray a bear with this stuff, all it's going to do is piss it off. And it's not really that, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It doesn't work that well. So just in case anything, any wildlife, anything messes with me. The last time we had no problems at all. But it's just nice to know that I have a knife in case I have to fight for my life. Because, you know, it's exciting. Thinking about that kind of stuff. This here, it's just plastic in a saw. It worked really well last time. Didn't break, didn't anything. It's got a little thing so you can hang it off your backpack, which makes it even more convenient. It locks into place, but it pushes up just like an exacto knife and the blade goes all the way out and it's a saw as you can see i'm not going to extract it all the way because you guys get the idea and it works really well and it's awesome this here is just a multi-tool thing just in case our fish swallows a hook just in case we need anything that this thing has inside of it Like I said, you got to be prepared. So we got that. And what else am I missing? I think I'm missing something. Oh yeah, over here. Last thing. I went all over the place with this, but it's okay. This here was something I was going to leave behind. The only reason why I'm bringing it is because we're staying at that one campsite two nights. And this would be absolutely fantastic because when you have the time to actually hang it up and it work properly, it's great. It's actually a portable shower. Let me open it up. It unrolls. You got the hook here. This hangs in the tree. You can hang it anywhere. It's apart right now, but you just stick this on here. Here's the plug. You fill this thing up with lake water. And then you hang it up in the tree. And the back half here um, heats up in the sun. And then it makes your shower nice and warm. So, yeah. And then you got the pincher thing here, so that way you can... Um, stop the water from either going or something like that and then it comes with a little shower spout and it actually works really well when you can use it but I don't recommend it if you're not staying anywhere for more than one night because it's just a waste of space as it was last trip so yeah this here is interesting this is another new addition I have a power bank that's not in this picture as well but this here I bought I've heard mixed reviews about these kind of um, equipment as well. So this is another thing that I'm interested to see if it actually works to its full potential or not. Um, I was going to bring two power banks, but I figure instead of relying on two power banks to supply me with power the whole seven days, why not bring one power bank and then a way to charge said power bank? So I have a solar charger anchor. I heard good things online, but then I've heard that these don't really work, so I'm excited to see how well it actually goes. Hopefully I have sunlight. <laughs> if not, then obviously I'm screwed, but yeah. This is it here. 
And there's a pouch that has a cord for you Oop. and a dual USB charger. So, yeah, like I said, I'm excited to see what this is all about and see how well it works. And I'll let you guys know when I, either during the portage or whenever I get back, just how well this thing works if you're thinking about buying one. All right, so here's a little bit of the food. Obviously, this is not everything, and a lot of this is not going to remain in the original packaging. I just have it laid out because we didn't feel like putting it away since our trip is coming up. So, Aunt Jemima pancakes, no, just add water. Simple. They actually taste great. You'd think they were bland, but we had this last time, and it actually tastes really great. We have two things of oatmeal. We're not going to take both of these. It's too much oatmeal because, as you can see, we're bringing a 12 egg, 12 eggs with us. We're going to get farm fresh eggs because that way they don't need to be refrigerated as hardcore. Still going to put it in our cooler bag, but that way it's just more guaranteed to be okay for longer. This is the boyfriend's bag because. I really wish I would like this kind of stuff. But I don't like any kind of nuts. I don't like seeds. I don't like anything. And I know it's really healthy for you. And I think I'm going to try to suck it up. And maybe put it in the oatmeal. Put it in something. But yeah. This will be really good for protein. Really good for energy. For that quick snack when whenever we're portaging. Skim milk powder. I have no idea how that's going to go. Especially because he got no name. Um, I don't know if it matters if it's no name or name brand with this kind of stuff. Some stuff does matter. I don't know if this stuff matters, but I hope it doesn't. The reason why we want skim milk is because we want coffee, and I can't have coffee without cream or milk or something, so I'm hoping, and this is nice and light, and it's dry, so you don't need to worry about keeping it in the cooler or anything. Um, veggie crisps, because why not? coffee filters we have a plastic device that sits on top of your cup and you put that in and then you put that and then you just pour boiling water over and it makes the most awesome coffee and and then of course I bought this uh, apparently according to online it's the best brand out there um, it tastes the best everything else this is uh, obviously just in case things go wrong and for the later days it's just easier to have this kind of stuff I bought an entree assortment they have many different kinds they have uh, just they have dessert assortments they have lunch and dinners they have a variety of all three they have smoothies you could buy individual packets everything but I decided that I only wanted entrees in case we wanted to eat it for lunch or supper because we have obviously we're bringing 12 eggs we're only going for seven days so do the math I mean we can have eggs for days I also want to bring some tuna um, we're gonna bring a little thing of mayo all because I am bringing a cooler that stuff will be eaten within the first two days uh, so, yeah, so as you can see here, just give you a better look. This is all freeze-dried meals. These are good for 30 years. So even if we don't eat all of these, which I don't think we will, I'm hoping we don't so we can use them in the future. Um, yeah, they last forever. So as you can see, the different stuff that's in here. Another thing, the reason why Mountain, I, Mountain House is the brand name that this is, um, it's a little bit more expensive than the other stuff that you'll see but upon doing research as to why I found out that Mountain House uses all real meat products um, nothing you see in here has any alternative it's actually real ingredients and apparently it tastes the best um, not that the other stuff is bad it's just cheaper because they fill it with like soy and stuff like that so if you're vegetarian they do have uh, or vegan they do have those options as well for freeze-dried meals but because obviously I'm not um, I wanted actual real meat in my meals so yeah so the things that are missing here in this picture are obviously um, my power bank, 
uh, there's more food to come. We want to wait until possibly the very last second if we could, but obviously we can't. So we're waiting to the last possible moment to buy the fresh veggies, the fresh everything that we want to eat. So that way it's even better for longer. Um, we still need to find farm fresh eggs. So I'm going to try to do that today once I'm done videoing. And also what's missing is, oh, I forgot to show you guys. We also got uh, maple syrup for our pancakes. You cannot bring glass into Algonquin Park though, so because we're, so we're gonna be transferring this into a different container. All right, so something also that's missing is clothes. So for me, I am bringing two pairs of leggings because like I said, don't underestimate how cold it gets in the summer nights in Canada, in the back country. Um, also, I'm bringing one pair of pajama pants. Uh, I'm also bringing, um, I think it's three tank tops, one t-shirt, one long sleeve shirt, one pair of shorts, and one dress. And I'm going to get another pair of shorts, I think. Um, but you want to try to be as minimal as possible. So I might even get rid of a shirt and everything just because. But I'm going to um, also bring, what else am I missing? Obviously, women products and underwear and all that jazz. Uh, but... Yeah, so make sure you don't uh, underdress and that you don't bring not enough clothes, but make sure that you don't bring too much either. Uh, make sure that you are prepared for the worst and the best. So, yeah. And if you guys do decide to go portaging, I hope you have fun just as much as I'm going to. I'm going to be videoing most of my portage, so I'm going to be making a video of that once I get back. It might be a while, but who knows. Uh, I guess that's it. All right, take care and bye.